Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Aluchi from the Kavi Cauldron, and I trust you have been well. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the scariest characters on TV. Whether it's TV shows, reality shows, movies, you name it. The scariest, not the scariest, but one of the scariest characters, in my opinion, is one that doesn't have a motivation behind their actions. I know it's spooky season, it's Halloween season, so talking about scary stuff, this is one of the scary stuff I want to talk about. Um, this is especially grating if this character that doesn't have motivation behind their actions is set up as a villain or they have a villain act there will eventually get to being the villain in the story so not having motivation or what moves them to action as a character could be because of a myriad of reasons number one it could be because their motivation is slowly being revealed to the audience as the story progresses if it is not done like this we would have no stories this is the kind of character that their actions and decisions can only be understood and judged in retrospect so they're not in hindsight they're not quite as scary as they appeared either in the beginning or at certain times in the in the plot the second character <laughs> the second one is one that the audience is aware of their motivation and other people that are in the show with them in the plot with them are aware of what moves them are aware of their drivers their motivations but them themselves are either in denial or just grossly unaware of what moves them into action and when i talk about motivations and what moves people into actions drivers these can be pleasant and not so pleasant feelings it doesn't always have to be something evil i just want to clarify that anyways this kind of character this second character uh they're the most easily manipulated and used to do other people's beating the audience and other people in the story are just the audience is watching them being played and the other people in the story are playing them but this character is so unaware and so in denial that they just keep serving the purpose of whatever who's using them you know to do things they keep serving those that person pop that person's purpose and it just keeps flying over their head that they're being used they're that person that's using them knows how to push their buttons which bus, with but which buttons to push and how to position them correctly so that those buttons are firing accordingly the third character who i consider the scariest is one who is written in a way that from the beginning to the end and even after watching it their motivation is far from accessible to the audience to themselves to the other characters surrounding them in the plot no one not even them can pinpoint what drives them they can't pinpoint what moves them what drives them what's causing them to act the way they act they just fire shots everywhere and everybody and everything is catching strays from them they're just causing pure chaos and they're messing things up they're setting everyone back their motivation can be summed up to just because nothing just they're causing chaos i mean chaos in its own can be a motivation but there's also this thing where if you're just if you don't have something that's moving you to act the way you act you become scary another element that i think is either being overlooked or just not included in the plot or it's being addressed in some sometimes in some way is when this third character can also be one that has a, a mental health issue so if, if there's a mental health issue that is grander in element that's causing them to do all these um it's either sometimes it's taken out of the plot to just you know 
have them cause chaos or is something that it's being hinted in it's being hinted in the plot but not overtly and not a lot of people have faced or seen someone deal with that issue so no one a lot of those things like if you grew up in the 90s some of those things you watch those movies now and you're like oh my god so they were dealing with this so they were dealing with that now we're able to put um names to whatever whatever was causing those people to act the way they you know the way they acted but then it's still um it makes you feel uh it changes the way you connect with that character you know what i mean so or the way you interact with that character this character or this third version can either drive the plot to perfection or they will become this annoying character that just keeps gnawing at you and gnawing at the audience and can't be just zapped like a fruit fly you know and sometimes this third version this third character that doesn't have any motivation in the way they act can be um, a force or an element or a god or just life or some power that is not human and can't be grasped or expected to have drivers the same way when um, humans do so that definitely throws in because you have something that you can't negotiate with you can't bargain with it's just there you know Anyways, there's something inherently scary in coming across something, whether it's, uh, you know, like in a, a human form <laughs> or just, just nature and just the world, just something, coming across something that you can't pinpoint at least what moves that thing or that person. We're all going to have many drivers in our lives, like many things that motivate us. Sometimes we'll have an overarching um, thing that motivates us. Or sometimes it would just be something in the background that shows up when we least expect it and just wows us, I guess. But the point is that uh, you're expected as a human being, a lot of us humans have that thing have that driver um some of them are stronger than others some of them are easier for us to pinpoint if you're self-aware some of them are easier for other people to see if they observe you enough or even just see on first meeting you know while others are not as visible but either way they're they're even if they're not consciously recognized it doesn't negate the actions they cause. Um, this is how we motivate people. This is how we sell products, find common grounds, um, connect, seduce, bargain. This is how we do all those things because of those drivers. Because if you can't speak to what's in another person, then how do you expect to connect with them and do all that jazz, you know? so hammer hammer on the mirror who's the scariest of them all anyways uh it's spooky season and this is our spooky special from the cubby cauldron so thank you thank you so much for joining me and make sure you like share subscribe comment i like to hear from you and i like to know if you're enjoying these videos if there's anything you would like me to improve and of course be respectful Thank you.